Hey folks, Anna Mana here, and today I've got a little treat for those of us who have uh, gotten a little bit bored of the Dragon Whisker or maybe the Diaga uh, Low and Grim weapons. So what we're going to be going over is weapons that drop from breaks on monsters or bosses in missions. So I'm going to be going over things like the Wyvern Lance. The uh, Bethal Blades, like you can see here, that drop and give you the Crimson Flashes. I do want to point out the best tip when farming any of these weapons is not to think about it. Because the moment you start thinking about it, the game is not going to give you the weapon. So if you go in with a clear mind, not thinking about it, the weapon's going to drop for you. Oh, I'm just kidding. That's just a joke. That is, uh, if for those of us who have played Monster Hunter before, that is what they call the Desire Sensor. So make sure you've got that switched off. And let's get into these uh, weapons that can drop from these enemies. Alrighty, so the first weapon we have is the Hotter, Hotaru Maru? I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, this is a Besmirched Blade drop, the 1 of 20, from the Marlboro in the mission, the Malevolent Marlboro. So as you can see here, we have the Marlboro, and all you have to do is get that break on it and defeat it. So this one's going to spawn, and then a few more are also going to spawn. So you have about four, no, three chances, sorry, it even says that on the screen. Three chances to get this to drop from this mission, again, Quit out as soon as you don't get it to drop if you are farming this because it is going to be a lot quicker to get this item. Alrighty, so this item is the Besmirch Blade, 1 of 20. Again, it is always going to be that 1 attack power, no abilities item. Locked items, actually. Uh, this one is a little bit purple by the looks of it. So we're going to jump in and we're going to pump in some items to this one. It only needs to get to level 20 to actually reach that uh, next level up that's going to upgrade it to the... Hotaru Maru. So this is it. This is, again, an incredibly ugly weapon like those uh, Assassin's Daggers, I think they were. But yeah, this one has at least... Uh, it, it's actually given another 20 in uh, Vitality. It's given 6 in Anti-Dark. And also, at this point, it's a 179 attack power. It has Life Drain X. Standard attacks have a chance of drowning HP. Equivalent of 50% of the, da the damage inflicted. So if you did... Uh, 1,000 damage, you get 500 hit points back. So, what we're going to do next is, as always, we're going to jump in and have a look at the maximum attack power, which is 100... And, no, not 100. What am I talking about? 298. Uh, pay no attention to the stats there. I've just used those to get it to this point. But this may be a useful weapon, maybe for getting some ability back. You could probably put in maybe Penetrator X or something on that first skill, but otherwise it is pretty average, I feel. Alrighty, so next up we have the Tainted Club drop from the... Demon Wall of Burbos Demon Emporium. This is a break on this one to get this one to drop. I believe this is really the only point you can target on this enemy, so you don't need to be focusing on anything special. Watchman's Building Stone is the fail. So again, quit out if you get that. Otherwise, this is getting through a whole bunch of uh, cryonades, some custards, and some, uh, what do you call them, gargoyles to get to the point of getting that boss. But anyway... We have the 1 of 50 Tainted Club, which is the one that's going to be the Thor's Hammer, which is what it's going to upgrade to. So again, this one doesn't have any stats on it, locked abilities as well. So I actually had to remake my own weapon, so I'm going to do that here right now. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on getting that strength in to upgrade it to that first point. And you can see it's at 25 uh, of the 50 levels. And then I'm going to start pumping in the Magic Gemstones, because this is how I would normally upgrade this weapon to the point where I would use it. So we now have it at the Thor's Hammer. It now has Stormbound and Thundaga. It's also gained 33% in uh, fire and lightning defense, also 30 extra uh, magic points. Currently, it also has uh, 238 attack power and it's level 53 of 99. So Stormbound adds lightning uh, element to your attack power and also, or your attacks, and it also adds Thundaga, which is the third level of the thunder magic. So. I mentioned I needed to make my own weapon, so I'm going to show you how I've been doing that. I basically pump in this full of the magic gemstones. There is obviously the blue uh, sky, sky serpent uh, scale that can give you better magic, but I'm just going this way because I want those pure stats. Uh, yeah, so from here I add those meteorites and I add a little bit more and I get it to 644 magic. So that's the kind of process I would go to make a pure weapon. Uh, meet those requirements to upgrade it first and then go for that pure stat that you want but again there may be other more uh, optimal ways of doing it don't take my word as gospel all right so next up we have the vita nova uh, club 
this one you're gonna get from the black flan ooze things the black flan ooze is just an item but anyway uh you get this one from either havoc before was the heart or dave jabu so this one is going to basically again it's a tainted club it looks similar to the thor's hammer so don't get it mistaken this is one of level 30 uh, you're going to be pumping up your spirit to get this one to upgrade. Might as well just go straight into 90 spirit. Because as you can see here, uh, it is actually going to upgrade straight from this to the next one. And I've already maxed out that stat that I need to focus on. So I just can go wherever I want from here. Um, but this one upgrades to the Vespa Mace. It has Curative Spell. Cura currently has... Uh, 121 attack power. It also gives you an extra 20 in magic points, but Cura is your level 2 uh, magic that will let you cure yourself of, or restore your health, is what I'm trying to say, sorry. Uh, but yeah, we're going to upgrade this one further, and we're going to upgrade it to the Vita Nova, which is, again, going to need 90 of the spirit to get this one up. As you can see, I've gone a little bit excess. I've, I've decided to put in a bit more, you know, hit points to maybe make me a battle healer or something like that. I don't know what you'd call it. But you have the Curaga spell. We now have 8 uh, Vitality as well, 30 Magic Points. And we also have that Curaga spell. We have 199 in Attack Power, uh, which is pretty average, but it's more of a healing weapon than anything. Curaga is your level 3 in your healing magic. So, as you can see, this now at maximum level has 241 attack power. Pay again no attention to those stats because I've just pumped in whatever so I can dismantle and get the items from it later or the gemstones. Uh, but yeah, this looks like a good healing mace. You could probably put Temporaga maybe on the front of that weapon and get that, that attack boost as well. Now this next portion might look a little bit uh, familiar just because I posted a video on this last night. And like I've been saying in this video, if you don't get the item to drop, just quit out and then go again because you're going to have a little bit quicker of a load time. But we're going to be going for the Wyvern Lance or the Wyvern Lance. This one drops as a Horn Break from King Behemoth. And this one is going to upgrade to the, yeah, from the Dulled Spear? Yeah, Dulled Spear to the, the Wyvern Lance. So similar to Besmirch Blades, Tainted Clubs, this is a locked weapon or an unidentified weapon. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on getting 20 of the Vitality and 20 of the Magic to get it up the next form. Uh, this one is very easy to do this. I'm just pumping in some gemstones just because it's easy. There's probably better ways of doing it uh, than this if you want to go for very specific and articulated stats. But just for the sake of this video, I just want to get this out and upgrade it for you so you can see it. So first form of this is the Dragoon Lance. This one has Air Supremacy 2. It also gets 10 of Fire, Ice and Lightning Resistance. Currently it is at 160 attack, but Air Supremacy damage output increases by 30% when uh, attacking in midair, which is pretty decent if you pair it with the Aerial Ace sigil the rogue sigil so from here we are going to upgrade it a little bit further we need to focus on 50 of strength vitality and magic magic is already done so we're going to put in these gemstones here again as i've mentioned there is probably better ways to do this but we're just going to be focusing on showing you how this weapon upgrades so again we have hit level 50 all these stats have been fulfilled we now have air supremacy x and yeah it looks like the Elements that we mentioned before, Fire, Ice, Lightning are now at 25%. At this form, at level 50, it has 205 attack power, or 53 if you want to be specific. Uh, Air Supremacy X, though, however, is pretty decent. So what this ability is going to do is your damage output is going to increase by 50% when attacking in midair. If you put in another one, you'd get 100%, or maybe you'd want to go for Penetrator X, or Brink Boost, or something like that, uh, just to change things up a little bit. But this is very suited for going on to that aerial form of attack power, whichever way you do it. But total attack power at level 120 is 255, if you wanted to know that as well. So it is pretty decent. It not as good as the Kane's Lance, but it is it holds its own. Alrighty, next up we have the Brianak. This one drops as a dulled spear from the Brain Drainers in Shields for Murdacio quest, similar to the any of the missions with the Basilisks or the Royalists and all those bird based enemies this is right at the end you have two of them two chances to get this to drop so what the dulled spear is going to upgrade to is the ice spear and the brianak so again an unidentified locked weapon here so we're going to be pumping this one full of ice resistance 
First up, we need to focus on 40% of the ice resistance for the first form of the weapon to upgrade to, and then we're going to go to the 99% for the third form. So we're going to put in these frost gemstones. I'm just going to go straight to above 100%, uh, just because there's no point in not doing that. As you can see here, I've only put in 78%, so it's like, hey, why the hell not? Let's just go focus on that 100%, and then from there, let's put in some other items just so that we can get it to that second form, or the first form, I guess we you call it. Uh, so putting in these hit points, and we're going to upgrade to the Ice Spear. So this one is uh, the first upgrade. It has 10 in Magic Points, 8 in Vitality, and 12 in also Magic uh, it's 123 attack power at level 32. So from here we would would have, if we hadn't already, upgraded it further to 99% in frost damage for the next form. This does have warp combo Blazara, so when you warp in and do a warp strike, it is going to cast Blazara as it hits the enemy. Uh, so from the next form, we've already put in the, the frost resistance, so we're just going to go for some of the vitality gems. Why not? Just get it to the next point. So what this one actually does have is it has... 191 attack power at level 64, but at level 120 it is going to get 218 attack power, so it is kind of a mid-range. It's more of a battle mage spear as what I would use it because it's got all that magic extra and the MP or magic points, uh, or mana points if you want to call it that. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have a look at what these abilities are, Charge Strike, Clear Out, and Warp Combo Blazaga. So, Charge Strike, clear out, we've talked about before. Charge Attacks change into a wide sweeping attack or strike, it uses MP. Warp Combo Blazaga is, again, a Warp Strike that's going to pop Blazaga as soon as you hit the enemy. So that is going to be a very good area of effect Warp Strike. Maybe that's worth looking into if you are going to play a Battle Mage. So moving on, we have the Kitchen Knives or the Kitchen Knives 3. So these drop from Tonbury in two quests. Uh, everybody's grown and Dave Javu, however, if you are at this end point of the game, I would recommend focusing on Dave Javu because you'll be able to get that other befouled uh, or besmirched blade. But also there's the black flans here which drop that uh, tainted club we talked about earlier in the, the video, the Vidanova one. But this uh, set of kitchen knives actually has 99 attack power which is incredible as a level 1 of 30. Uh, it has everybody's grudge, it isn't a, a uh, offensive attack as it has been with Tombrees and previous games, it is actually a support ability that is kind of offensive if you think of it that way so output increases by 30 percent when uh parties average hit points fall below 30 percent so it is a trump card if you are in a bit of a pinch so we're going to be upgrading these ones to upgrade these we need 30 dark resistance but for the second form or the third form if you want to think of it that way uh we have 99 dark resistance we need to focus on so we are going to be pumping in these dark gemstones and we're going to go straight to you know, why not? Let's just screw ourselves up. Let's go for 273% because it's not going to cap out at 99 or anything. But uh, we have the Kitchen Knives 2 here. It now has everybody's Rancor or everyone's Rancor. Still, it only has 99 attack power. It doesn't have any other stat bonuses. So this is a weapon that you could use for pure stats. So Rancor actually jumps from 30% to 50%, but it still triggers once everyone is below an average of 30% hit points. So we're just going to pump in some some strength gemstones, I guess, just to get it up to that next level. Same attack power, again, still 99. It now has everybody's enmity. Uh, again, no extra stats. Use this as a stat stick weapon or a set of stat knives. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, what you're going to be getting out of everybody's enmity is that it is going to increase the output by 100% now. And as well, when everyone is below 30% of their maximum hit points. Uh, so this set of weapons doesn't increase in attack power at all, so you are going to have the benefit of using it for stats if you are going to upgrade it to the level 120 cap, as you can see here, I've got quite a bit of uh, that strength and some spirit and then some you know resistance in there, so it is completely up to you, but there is no benefit to attack power if you are going to upgrade it to this point. So we might have seen this right at the start of the video. This is the Baleful Bandersnatch mission, which you're going to be going for these mutant Bandersnatches. You're going to go for a head break to try to break off the Crimson Flash's weapon, which is actually going to be the Perfound Blades. Monster Jaw if it does fail. But anyway, this is 
I actually done this probably like 30 times trying to get these weapons to drop so they are very difficult. You can see it dropped finally for me there. Uh, but these weapons are similar to the Thor's hammer but for daggers so they are going to have... Well, actually no, no, no. They're more like the, the uh, Brianak as it's got a warp combo. Uh, sorry. Um, but previously this was the only way to get Firaga before 1.20. So we have a locked weapon here. Again, as always, nothing worth using unless maybe you're doing an Iron Man challenge or something like that. I don't know. But you're going to be focusing on 25% fire resistance or 100% fire resistance for the absolute top level. As you can see, I just pumped in 174% just because I didn't want to think about it. So we have the Scarlet Blades. This one has Warp Combo Fire. It also has 10 in uh, Magic Points or Mana Points and 22 in Magic. It's got 55 Attack Power at level 20. And again, it has that Warp Combo for uh, Fira, Fira. I don't know what you call it. But uh, anyway, it is going to trigger once you do a Warp Combo or Warp Strike into an enemy. So from here, I am just going to be pumping in some Strength just because I want to get it to level 50. Level 50 upgrades are to 105 attack power once it transforms into the final form. Crimson Flashes. Uh, it now has Warp Combo Faraga, which is the third level of fire attack. It has in it uh, 26 extra on your mana points and 30 points of magic as well. Uh, like I said before, this has Warp Combo Faraga. So when you do that Warp Strike into an enemy, it is going to do a massive explosion. Uh, may do some very close area of effect damage if there's other enemies around, but... Viraga is not a massive area of effect kind of ability. Blizzaga holds the title of being the best for that. So at level 120, it actually upgrades to 127 attack power. Uh, it's not as good as the Lohengrins, but they're potentially easier to get because it's a lot quicker of a farm. I don't know. Whatever way you want to look at it. Uh, this is another cool set of red daggers. <laughs> I don't like these full color weapons, but there you go. Uh, the next weapon we're going to jump to is the Elder Bow, which drops from Chattanook in Phantom in the Frame. This is the Jark. It's going to drop as if you get a break. There is a single target to focus on, no face or limbs or anything like that. Just get that break on Chad here, and they're probably going to drop the Ghastly Left Arm, which is, I guess, a decent item in other means, but you want that weapon, so why not quit? Um, but here we go, here's the Jark. So it has Mana Strike, it also has 10 Mana Points, and 57 Attack at its base level. So this is actually going to upgrade to the Jark. We're going to... Oh, actually, I should go into Mana Strike here. It increases damage apple by 30% at the cost of 5 Mana Points. That is, every single attack is going to be 30% stronger, but it's also every single attack is going to use 5 Mana Points you need to consider as well. So it needs to get... Uh, 30 magic points to upgrade. This is actually a weapon I use all of my magic on, so uh, do with it what you will, but that's how I usually tend to focus on my weapon. It now has uh, Mana Strike 2, increased damage by 80%, so it's quite a bit of a jump there, but now costs 10 mana points per hit. So it's a, I feel like it's a pretty decent attack. It's going to get even better. But as you can see, at level 32, it has 102 attack power. We're going to start upgrading the resistances, fire, ice, and lightning. I believe they only need 25 of each to upgrade. I've just used 30 here uh, for the gemstones. But once we pop those in, it's finally going to upgrade. You can choose whatever you want in this first slot. I actually use this for one of my uh, third level magics. You could use Faraga. Blizzaga, Thundaga, whatever you want to do. It is a very good weapon for using that just because it does have a resistances, which is a little bit of a waste, but resistances are always good. Uh, really, it depends on what you want to do with it. I've used, <laughs> I've used a strength there just to get it to the next level. Don't worry about that. Uh, at level 60, it has 130 attack power. It also has 20 extra mana points. Uh, it also has Mana Strike X, which is a very interesting ability as it now upgrades that from 80% to 200% uh, extra damage output per strike at 15 mana points per use. So unless you're in a uh, maybe Tenebrae as your birthplace or something like that, you're probably going to tear through that mana very fast. So this seems like more of a, a weapon you pull out in a bind. So at maximum level here, this is the one that I've built myself. I've got Farag on it, which is something you have to do yourself. But uh, the major attack power at the end of level 120 is 156, which is reasonable. Nothing to write home about. Um, 
Yeah, actually, you know what? It's actually one of the best, so what am I talking about? Uh, finally, we're going to move on to the Cornflower or the Petrified Disc. This is going to drop from the Marlboro Dooms in the Smog on the Water. Again, single break. We're just going to get that break, and we're hopefully going to get it to drop. There's going to be two of these to fight here, and once you get it to break, all good. Otherwise, quit, because you don't want to waste your time, as always. So, this is the final weapon we're looking at here. Petrified Disc, this is the unidentified form of an unidentified weapon for the um, the shurikens. I believe if there was any more of these, that would also be called Petrified Discs. Uh, but, what this is going to do is, we just need to focus on level 30 to get it to upgrade to that. So, this is a pure stat weapon. It's very good. Uh, unfortunately, the abilities are going to be locked, as you're going to see here. It has Soul Siphon X and Life Drain X. So you could go from here and upgrade with a pure stat. But it also gives you 300 in hit points or health points, 12 in your strength, and also 28 in your spirit, 100 attack power at this level 32 base level. So uh, Soul Siphon X will take 25% of the damage you inflict and life drain x will take 50% of the hit points you inflict on an enemy so if you did an attack of 100 you'll get 25 magic points back or mana points back and you get 50 hit points back that's the basics of how it works so it might be a good uh, restoration or support weapon for yourself otherwise maybe a stat stick i don't know at level 120 it gets 134 attack power which is pretty damn good it uh, actually gets right up close to the dancing cross however it doesn't have that that uh, special AOE or area of effect ability that that one does. So I finally got all these weapons and was able to make a video for all of these weapons. These have been available since 1.0. These are not new weapons, but I wanted to cover them to make sure everyone knew about them because let's try some new weapons other than that damn uh, dragon's whisker. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm Animana. If you've liked this, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any builds for any of these weapons specifically, uh, maybe put them in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me on Final Fantasy XV Comrades. As always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you next time. Goodbye. Bye.